Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Tuesday, December 26, 2023. Good morning. I'm Mike Sepervivi. We begin today's Boxing Day edition with WWE kicking off its traditional holiday house show tour tonight, including its annual event inside Madison Square Garden. Matches announced for the show include CM Punk against Dominic Mysterio. For Punk, it's his first appearance at the Garden since March 18, 2012, when he teamed with Randy Orton and Triple H in a winning effort over Chris Jericho, Cody Rhodes, and Dolph Ziggler. Also announced are Seth Rollins against Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes taking on Shinsuke Nakamura in a bull rope match. Sami Zayn and Jey Uso against Finn Balor and Damian Priest had been advertised, but Zayn was pulled from the tour earlier this month after being granted time off. The first McMahon family-promoted show that closed out the Garden's wrestling year took place on December 29, 1980, and featured a main event of Bob Backlund retaining the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship over Killer Khan. It drew nearly 19,000 people between the main arena and closed circuit inside the adjacent Felt Forum. Since 1980, during the last week of the year, there's been a WWE show at Madison Square Garden in 24 of the last 42 years. In addition to the Garden, WWE SmackDown crew heads to the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore tonight, where Randy Orton has been added to the show. Tonight's card is scheduled to feature a last man standing match between Kevin Owens and Solo Sokoa, and LA Knight takes on Jimmy Uso in a street fight. EO Sky was scheduled to defend the WWE women's title in a triple threat against Bianca Belair and Charlotte Flair, although Flair's recent knee injury has forced her to be pulled from the tour. While last night's Monday Night Raw was a retrospective on 2023, NXT returns tonight on USA Network with matches taped on December 13th at the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Announced matches for tonight include the semifinals of the men's breakout tournament with Lexus King against Riley Osborne and Tavion Heights against Oba Femi. Also, an NXT Underground match between Dijak and Eddie Thorpe has been scheduled, along with Noam Dar defending the NXT Heritage Cup against Josh Briggs and Cora Jade against Carmen Petrovic. And turning to Japan, Hiroshi Tanahashi addressed New Japan Pro Wrestling staff on Monday for the first time since taking over as the company's president and representative director. New Japan posted a minute of Tanahashi's comments on their YouTube page where the still-active wrestler told his audience, quote, As a wrestler, seeing the smiles of fans from the ring is truly the greatest joy. However, these smiles come from the cumulative efforts of various departments, from ticket sales and public relations to the creation of event programs and promotional materials. It's everyone's collective effort that enables us wrestlers to see those smiles. Therefore, I aim to further develop New Japan Pro Wrestling into a company that brings even more happiness to our fans, end quote. Tanahashi took over the office positions on December 23rd following the resignation of Takami Obari. New Japan is set to introduce Tanahashi at a public press conference today in Tokyo. We'll have any relevant information from that event in tomorrow's newscast. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and 7 days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News Podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall. Just the Wrestling News. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.